Hello friends, this video on cell cycle and cell division part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now that we know the importance of cell division, let us talk about what is cell division. It is a process by which a parent cell divides to form daughter cells. Now the new cells which are produced are often known as daughter cells. Now I even I don't know why they are called daughter cells and not son cells. So even I don't have any idea on that. But this is the convention. The new cells which are formed are termed as daughter cells. So let us suppose here you can see on the screen a cell. So when this cell divides to form new cells, so the process is known as cell division. So you see you started with just one cell and you ended up with almost eight cells. So this is how the number of cells increases. And due to this increase in number of cells, we can see growth, we can see formation of specialized cells, we can see formation of cells which can replace the damaged or uh, the dead cells. So this is cell division, a very simple definition, process by which parent cell divides to form daughter cells. Now we will see what are the different ways a cell can divide, how do they divide. Now as I said, due to this, because of this process, it helps in growth, repair and gametes formation that is helpful in the process of sexual reproduction. So when I talk about a cell division, it, everything starts with just one cell and gradually that cell by repeated division becomes larger and larger due to formation of more and more new cells or more and more daughter cells. So now that we know what is cell division, let us introduce, let me introduce you to the cell cycle. Cell cycle will talk about the entire life cycle of a cell. So how a cell is formed, what does it do throughout cell life and then how it divides. So that, that would be the entire life cycle of a cell. So how do we define cell cycle? It is nothing but the sequence of events that occur in a cell including cell division and preparation for cell division. So now for any important thing you do, you need to prepare for it, right? For example, um, take a very small example. Let us suppose you have planned to go on a picnic with your friends for the new year, right? So when you're going for a picnic, you need to plan for it. I mean, suppose you decided that, okay, fine, um, you have to bring this, you have to bring that. Somebody is going to bring uh, rackets so that you can play there. Somebody is going to bring some, bring some uh, food so that you can eat there. So that's how you have divided specific tasks to each of you. So that is nothing but planning. Again, you'll go your home and you'll plan everything, you'll pack your bags. So that is also part of preparation. And when is the actual event taking place? The actual event happens when you go for the picnic. So when you have actually gone for the picnic. So even before the picnic, there was some preparation which was required. So similarly here, cell division is a very important thing. It has to happen. It is a critical thing to happen. But there are quite a few things which for which the cell need to prepare itself. Only once the cell is prepared for cell division, only then it can go ahead with the process of cell division. So now we will look at the different steps or the different events which has to take place before cell division as well as during cell division. So that entire sequence is known as cell cycle. Now when we talk about cell division, there are different types of cell division for different types of organisms. For example, for prokaryotes, you have different types of cell division. Again, for eukaryotes, you have different types of cell division. So when we talk about prokaryotes, for example, bacteria, they generally divide by the process of binary fission. So this is for prokaryotes like bacteria. When you talk about eukaryotes, they again, there are two modes of cell division. One is mitosis and the other is meiosis. So both of these type of cell divisions are seen in eukaryotes. Meiosis is more involved with sexual reproduction, whereas mitosis is more involved with asexual reproduction. Now in this lesson, we will talk about each of these type of cell division in detail one by one. So we will start our discussion with binary fission. 
Now you might be wondering, I told you about um, cell cycle but did not mention the steps. We will do that very soon. So when we talk about, first we'll get some idea about cell division, how cell divides. So for that we'll talk about binary fission. So once binary fission is clear, then we'll talk about cell cycle and then we'll talk about the eukaryotes because in eukaryotes the processes are going to be a little more complex. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.